Now, I'm not sure if I have did a video of this on this on my channel before, but um, I've had this in the attic for uh, three, four years. It's an RCA Select Division. Um, I don't got any discs or they look like vinyl records. But I don't got anything for it. <clears throat> and it doesn't work properly anymore. It's not, it doesn't even have the needle to play. Um, but yeah, look at you get some uh, schematics and shit. How nice of them back in the day, huh? We don't get shit like that these days. But yeah, here it is. It's saying L because it's in the load position. But. Yeah, so I have it apart here, and there's the big AC motor. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get the flashlight on. There's the AC motor. motor. It's belt-driven, obviously. A little fan beneath it to keep the motor cool. And I can at least get it to spin because they got the contact switches out back. Now I can't have this laying flat because of the motor, so I'll do it like that. The switches back here, this one operates this. And the other one operates the spinning of the turntable. And if it's in the play mode, it should actually start spinning. Well, that's working for that. This was working. <laughs> Interesting, but yeah. Just, this is just an insane piece of equipment and it was actually working. I don't know why it's not now. It was spinning beautifully. But, yeah. Well, let me roll that all the way back, I guess. Oh, now I can't get my fingers back there. Huh, yeah. Now it doesn't want to spin. Okay, now it should spin. Yeah. So yeah, obviously probably not going to save it, but yeah, it's pretty cool to look at something this old. It's from, I don't know, I saw a date somewhere, but I know it's got to be from the, it's from the 70s, because I think that was the era of uh, that whole video, whatchamacallit type discs. Anyway, uh, yeah, this thing's loaded and um, yeah. Later.